When an iPhone or iPad is unlocked, you'll be presented with your home screen. This is going to display app icons, app folders, widgets, and at the bottom, the dock. At the very top of the display will be information like the time, battery status, Wi-Fi, and cellular connection strength. It's possible to have multiple screens of app icons and app folders like we have on this iPad. The dots here above the dock signify the two screens that I can swipe through. On this iPhone, we don't have multiple home screens. Swipe left on the current home screen and we go right into App Library, which automatically arranges every app installed on this iPhone into categories. Tap on a full-size app icon to launch the app, or tap on an icon group in the lower right of a category to see all the apps in that category. Swipe down while viewing App Library to see all the installed apps listed alphabetically. We can open App Library on iPad with a swipe left on the second home screen or from down in the dock where we have an App Library button. We'll talk more about App Library in its own lesson later on. Swipe down from the upper right of the display from any home screen or within an app to view Control Center. From here we can quickly adjust screen brightness, speaker volume, activate focus modes, and much more. We'll also go over the details of Control Center in its own lesson. Swipe down from the middle of any home screen to do a spotlight search and view Siri suggestions. Siri suggestions will display apps that Siri is anticipating you might want to use depending on what time of day it is and where you are. With spotlight search we can quickly locate apps and other information that is stored on the iOS device or information that exists online. Swipe down from the top edge of the display to view Notification Center. This will show us notifications that are sent here by apps that are installed on your iOS device. We're going to cover Spotlight Search and Notification Center in their own lessons. Swipe right from the main home screen to view the widgets sidebar. We can customize what widgets are displayed here as well as their size. Tap on the Add button up here to bring in more widgets, either into the sidebar or onto the home screen. Widgets will be covered in their own lesson as well. If we have multiple home screens on a device, it's possible to rearrange and hide them. On this iPhone, I'm going to move the eight app icons here on my lone home screen into a new one. From that new home screen page, if I tap and hold on the dots down here, the two screens come up and I can tap and drag to rearrange them. Now the home screen with the eight apps that I just moved will be the initial home screen displayed when I unlock this iPhone. Tap and hold on the dots again, and if we uncheck a home screen down here, it will no longer appear. Now I'm back to only one home screen and then App Library. Over on the iPad we can do the same thing. Tap and hold on these dots, and on this device I actually already have a couple of pages of apps that were hidden. Tap in the circles below to add them back, and then we can rearrange them. Now I have four home screen pages on this iPad. We can view and edit the contents of the screens that were just unhidden. If I hide one of these screens again, a delete button appears in its upper left corner. Tap on this to permanently remove that home screen. 
the apps on that page are still going to be accessible in App Library. This allows us to set up home screen pages that contain app icons or widgets that we might not want to have available all the time, but when needed can be quickly reactivated. The final piece of the iOS home screen that I want to mention is the dock. On an iPad, up to 15 apps can be placed in here. On an iPhone, it's limited to four. App icons can be added or removed from the dock with a tap, hold, and drag. As I swipe between home screens, the apps in the dock remain the same. So apps stored in the dock are normally ones that you're going to use the most often or want quick access to. Next up, look at the iOS lock screen. 